Welcome to the VMware Cloud on AWS Quick Start Series. Do you need to configure a quick and easy VPN between your on-premises environment and your SDDC, but you don't want to deal with BGP? I'm Jeremiah McGee with VMware, and in this video, I'll walk you through configuring a policy-based VPN and laying down the foundation to configure hybrid link mode. Inside the SDDC, select the Network and Security tab, then navigate to VPN and add a policy-based VPN. Choose a name for your VPN, then select the public IP from the local IP address drop-down menu. Next, enter the remote public IP address. This is the public IP address for the VPN in your on-premises environment. Under Remote Networks, we will type in the on-premises subnets that you should be able to communicate with over the VPN once it's established. Local networks are the networks that are local to the SDDC. Here we want to select the network segments that we've created along with the infrastructure subnet. This will ensure the SDDC networks are able to communicate across the VPN. In the advanced section, we can specify a number of options for our VPN configuration, including tunnel encryption type, tunnel digest algorithm, IKE encryption, IKE digest algorithm, IKE type, and DH group. Lastly, define a pre-shared key and click save. It's important that the options specified match the VPN configuration on premises. If the configuration options weren't provided to you beforehand, you can export the config to provide to your network admin. Once both sides are configured, you will see the VPN tunnel status turn green. Click the overview to see the VPN established over the internet back to your on-premises environment. Now let's create a management group for your on-premises subnets to make firewall administration easier. Navigate to Groups under Inventory, Select Management Groups and add a group. Provide a name and click Set Members. Enter the subnets that we specified in the VPN configuration, click Apply and save the group. Now let's create the necessary firewall rules. Navigate to the Gateway Firewall under Security and select the Management Gateway. Add a new rule for inbound vCenter traffic. Under Source, we have three options, Any, System Defined, and User Defined. Here we will choose the user-defined group we just created for our on-premises subnets. Under Destination, we will choose the system-defined group for vCenter. When choosing services, HTTPS is the only service that's actually required to access the vSphere client. However, we will also choose SSO to lay the foundation for hybrid link mode and ICMP for testing and troubleshooting later on. We'll add one more rule for inbound ESX traffic in the same manner selecting our user-defined group for on-premises subnets for the source and system-defined ESX group for the destination. Select all of the services available to allow traffic types such as remote console, vMotion, etc. While these aren't necessarily required to access the vSphere client, these will provide added functionality and further lay the foundation for hybrid link mode. Once the rules are published, we have one more task to complete. At this time, our VPN is established and firewall rules are in place, but vCenter access is still happening via the public internet. This is because the FQDN is resolving to a public IP that's being NATed. Navigate to DNS under System and select DNS Zones. Add a new FQDN zone for your on-premises domain. Include the zone name, domain name, and at least one DNS server. This will allow you to resolve on-premises DNS names from the SDDC. Finally, click Settings and expand the vCenter FQDN section. Notice we are resolving the vCenter to the public IP. Select Edit and change the resolution address to the private IP. You should now be able to access the vSphere client from inside one of the subnets specified in the VPN and firewall configurations. You now have a secure connection from on-premises to your cloud SDDC and have laid the foundation to configure hybrid linked mode for a true hybrid cloud. Be sure to visit VMware Cloud Tech Zone for the latest VMware Cloud on AWS resources.